Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in today. My name is McCade Marshall and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video I shoot every single week for my readers and viewers, so thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoyed this message, I encourage you to share it with family, with friends, with loved ones and coworkers. And you can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it into your email inbox and also onto Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all my latest videos. And the channel's just my name, McCade Marshall. And also, you can subscribe to receive Word of the Week in your email inbox every Sunday evening by going to McCadeMarshall.com, clicking on the Word of the Week tab, filling out the form there. Be more than happy to add you to my subscriber list. So make sure to check that all out at the end of this message. All right, well, the word of the week for this week is send prosperity now. One of the blessings of being a Christian and knowing God is that the things of the past no longer define who you are. As a believer, you confess and trust that Jesus is the Lord of your life. He is the King over all all parts of your life. As such, you are who He says you are. What others say about you is all subject to what God says about you. You aren't who your boss says you are. You aren't who your parents say you are. You aren't who your friends say you are. And no, you're not even who your enemies say that you are. You are who God says you are. The good news today is I believe God wants to break any limitations holding you back from fulfilling your purpose and becoming everything that God created you to be. You were not created to barely get by your whole life. You were made to grow and thrive as a follower of Christ. You were made to soar in the promises of God. Psalm 118, 24 through 25 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I pray, O Lord. I pray, send now prosperity. Here the psalmist is thanking God for the day, then he's doing something very bold, and he's asking the Lord to save him and to prosper him. We don't often think of God being one to ask for prosperity, but the truth is God wants us to prosper. God wants us to excel in what he has called us to do. This is one reason I believe the psalmist is so bold in asking God to send prosperity now. What's interesting is the psalmist does not ask for God to send prosperity one day in the future or ten years down the road during their retirement. No, the psalmist declares, send prosperity now. When you go out the door each morning, are you thanking God for the day he has made, then asking the Lord to now send prosperity? Psalm 118, 24 through 25 should be a model prayer that we say before we head out the door for work or for school each day. The enemy does not want you to prosper and succeed. He wants to keep you in the clutches of defeat and failure. He does not want you to thrive, because if you thrive, then God's goodness is going to spill out into the lives of others. When you are seeking God, reading the Bible every day and praying, the Spirit of the Lord is going to cause you to grow and excel. The Holy Spirit enjoys causing you to prosper. Psalm 35 verse 27 tells us, Let them shout for joy and rejoice who favor my vindication. 
and let them say continually, The Lord be magnified, who delights in the prosperity of his servant. The Lord delights in prospering you. No matter where you go or what you are doing, the Lord loves seeing you succeed. As long as you are giving God the glory in whatever it is you are seeking to accomplish, there is no limit as to how far He can take you. It might seem a little awkward at first asking God to send prosperity now. However, if you can remember God delights in sending prosperity, then it becomes more natural as you seek the Lord for success. If you consider how a parent feels about their child, it's not so difficult to see why God desires to see us succeed. When you send your child to school, do you want them to wind up in detention getting in trouble every week, flunking out and never learning or growing? Of course not. Your desire is for your child to learn, grow, and mature. You want your child to find out what they are good at and excel in it. In the same way, God wants the very best for you. Man-made religion, or the religious spirit, has taught us through the ages that having money is somehow wrong. The only time having money and resources is wrong is when it possesses you. Instead of you possessing the wealth, the wealth possesses and controls you. It is your God. However, God gives us resources so that we can be a blessing to the world. One of the keys to seeing increase is by being faithful with what you have right now. If you want God to send prosperity now, then consider how you're handling and stewarding the resources that are right in front of you. If you cannot handle a little, then the scriptures say you cannot handle much. If you will work on doing your best right where you are, then incrementally God will give you more. Proverbs 13 verse 11 says, Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. If you will be faithful with what you have, managing your resources to the best of your ability, then God will cause it to grow. However, it is important to ask God to send prosperity. Don't shy away from God's promise to bless you. He delights in seeing you prosper. I believe God wants you to delight in prospering as you keep Him first place in your life. Money in and of itself is not evil. It is the love of money that is the root of all sorts of evil. Money is actually required in order to pay bills, build churches, fund missionaries, and provide food and shelter that is necessary for living. The key is to remember that God is your ultimate source of provision and not the money itself. Money is a tool that can be used for good or for evil. As you go out this week, remember to thank God every day. Rejoice. This is the day the Lord has made. Ask the Lord to deliver you from your troubles. Thank Him for sending prosperity now. I believe as you seek God each day, He is causing you to overcome obstacles, defeat temptations, and accomplish great feats you never thought before. Chains are falling off. Limitations are being broken. You are going from glory to glory, walking in the triumphal procession of Christ's Spirit. Well, I want to pray for you really quick that you would get this message into your spirit to, that God wants to send 
prosperity now. So wherever you are, if you want to bow your head and close your eyes and listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, thank you so much for everyone listening and watching right now. Father, I pray that in our hearts, God, that you would root in us a love for other people and a love for your kingdom and for your word, Lord. And as we seek you, Lord, may we declare with boldness as a daughter of God, as a son of God, as kings and queens in Christ, to send prosperity. Thank you, Lord, for breaking us out of bondages, limitations, any wrong thinking, a poverty mindset. Lord Jesus, you said you came to give us life and give us life abundantly. So thank you for the new work, the new ground that we are taking for your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to tell you the first step to experiencing more prosperity in life that comes from God, that is blessed by the Lord, comes by first having that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And Jesus came some 2,000 years ago, and he lived out a life being the perfect example of what it means to be a Christian. So if you've never received this free gift of Christ's salvation, salvation is required in order to go to eternity in heaven one day. You must receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. If you've never received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, would you just bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me this prayer and invite Jesus to be Lord of your life. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins, come into my heart, I make you my Lord and Savior, amen. Well, if you pray that prayer, the Bible says that you have been spiritually born again, that you're a new creation in Christ on the inside. So welcome to the family of God. And the next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church and Christian community and let other people build you up in your faith. And be water baptized as a public profession of your faith and read your Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. It's how we grow in the knowledge of Christ. So make sure you're reading your Bible every day, feeding your spirit the good things of God, and pray Talk to God like you would your very best friend. The Bible says to cast your cares upon God because he cares about you. So make sure to read your Bible and pray every day so you can grow strong in faith. And make sure to tell someone that you gave your life to Christ. You can tell a friend or someone at work or school you know is a Christian and let them encourage you along in your faith. And you can tell also a pastor or someone at church and let them just encourage you as a new believer in Christ. And also, I have a great website with resources that can that can help you in your walk with God. And the website's just my name, McCadeMarshall.com. And on McCadeMarshall.com, there's other Word of the Week videos just like this one that you can watch. If you'll click on that Word of the Week tab, you can scroll through. There's over a hundred Word of the Week videos that I've filmed about different topics that I promise will just help you go deeper in your walk with God and encourage you in your faith. And also, I'm a writer. And I mail out newsletters every three months to my mailing list. If you're not on my mailing list, if you want to click on that newsletters tab, fill out the form there. Be more than happy to add you to my mailing list. I send those newsletters free of charge every three months. Also, I'm an author, and I've written a few books that you can order on my website that will help you as you are growing in your faith. And the latest book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. And Finding Your Keys has 12 different keys or spiritual truths that you can apply to your own life to unlock the supernatural power of God in your life. So if you don't have Finding Your Keys, you can check that out on my website. I'd be more than happy to sign it and ship it to you. And another book I wrote is called Breathe. And Breathe is all about God breathing new life into your God-given dreams. And at the end of each chapter of Breathe, there's a prayer you can pray to pray over yourself, your loved ones. It's a great tool. Um, and also the first book I wrote that you can order on my website is called Tasting the Goodness of God. And Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day daily devotional I wrote to help you learn how to spend time with God each and every day. So make sure you check out those books at the end of this message. All right, well, in closing, I just want to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are excelling in the work of your hands. 
Prosperity is now headed your way because you look to God for success. Ministering angels are causing things to work in your favor as you keep God first place in your life. No trial is going to keep you from fulfilling your purpose. No setback is going to keep you from entering your promised land. No person is going to keep you from prospering. With the Lord's help, there is nothing you cannot accomplish in Jesus' name. Well, I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.